right, now we're, we're ready to do this. Now, first of all, this is what I did yesterday. I did a demo for myself just to practice, to get used to the colors because I didn't know what they were all gonna do. And since I was doing something special for you, I wanna make sure it looked good. So what we're gonna do here is probably gonna look different than this, but I'm gonna work with this. Now, top layer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend. Now I see a, a, a purplish red, a pinkish, and then we have a band of, of a pink, more of a pink. This is more of a violet, this is more of a pink. Then we have another right over here. This is actually clouds here. This is another band of purple. So what we need to do first is we're going to mix a purple. So going back to the color chart, and this is not the color, this is when you mix red and blue together, you come out with a pretty violet. Now I'm, I'm mixing them down, I'm pushing it down here. And I'm seeing what it turns into. Now I'm gonna add, this will be my water for adding. Okay, much, much too red. We need more blue. Now somehow or another, I've loaded up too much paint on the brush. So I'm going to take a little bit of off because what's going to happen is if you can actually see, it's kind of glumped up and I'm not going to be able to get as much red. Well, maybe I'll just kind of try this. There we go. So I got that off. I'm going to try a little bit more red. Now we'll try a little less blue in this mixture here. And now that I have white, which I didn't have before, we can mix this up a little bit. Still needs more blue. I'm going to add the blue off to the side. Here we start getting a nice purple. Now, since we're going to be blending the colors into one into another, this has got to be watered down. And I'm going to be going back and forth and back and forth. So I'm going to wet this again. I'm going to make a watery mixture here. My brush is now full of water, very, very loose. And I'm going to put the first layer. And I'm going to put this up here for the time being. And just kind of, I'm going to put a little more blue in here. Oops, back and forth and back and forth. Now it's going to get lighter with more water that I'm going to add to it as well. When I did the, the sample over there, I didn't have any white. So what I, I had to basically get this as thin as I can with the water. Now, if I was to use a bigger brush, which is not part of the kit, but one of my own. It's, it's, this is the reason it's very good to have a big brush. It smooths things out and you can do bigger strokes and you don't have the brush strokes. Now, I'm gonna go down a little bit. I'm gonna use this now. I'm gonna go down a little bit lower. And you can see the more water I'm adding, the thinner it seems to get. All right. Now, I'm going to wash. Oh, I always think of doing that. 
I shouldn't be using this for cleaning the brushes. All right, and I'll do the same thing on this one. Remember, cleaning the brush. Have to always clean the brush right after, otherwise you get the paint stuck in there, you're, you're ruining your brushes. All right, now the next color. My brush is very wet at this point. I may want to blot it a little bit in the paper towel. The next layer is pinkish. How do we make pink? Now, initially, I didn't have the whites. Normally, you could just make a pink with the red and the white. But I'll show you how I made that one. This is kind of an orangey. So I took some, I took some of the red, and this is the crimson red. Not all reds make the same colors. So if you got a different red, you're going to get a different color. You're going to have to experiment. So I'm taking the red and I put a little bit of the yellow. into it and then I took a little bit of blue to kind of give it a purpley thing and that's too much now I'm gonna start all over again I had a little bit of yellow yeah that's kind of the color a little bit just a tad of blue I don't want to overdo the blue. I have to be careful with the mixing. All right. Eh, kind of. Eh, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to add the white. All right. And I'm still, I still like that orangey pink that I got. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. More yellow. And a little bit more of the yeah, blue. Let's see how this looks. I can always change it. I'm going to dab it in so it's going to get blurry and kind of could be a little lighter, but I think by adding some more water to it, oops, yep, you know what, I'm just going to cheat, I'm going to put a little white on this right on top of it here, and go back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. Now I'm going to switch brushes. Ah. This has a little too much water in it. I'm blotting it on the paper towel. And just go back and forth. And a little bit of yellow directly on it. See what happens. Just give it a little punch. There we go. It's very wet. There we go. Add a little more white. <laughs> Painting directly over the colors. Now, here is everything is wet on wet. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blend this color into the purple. Basically, I'm just taking the brush and going over very lightly. You're not going to press down hard. You're going to just kind of blend right where the two of them meet. You're blending them together very lightly. Everything is still very wet and you're blending the purple into the pinkish orange. And there you have it. You're blending the two of them. Now we're going to go back to the purple again. I'm going to clean this brush. Uh, I did it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I forgot to clean this one. All right, let's. All right. I'm used to painting in oils. <laughs> I have to get back to using using acrylics. 
I used to use acrylic. Actually, I used acrylics when I was pregnant with my son. That was the only medium I was told I could use that was safe. Could not use uh, oil paint. It was toxic. Could not use pastels. It was toxic. The dust and so forth. So the I had called Myers, Ralph Meyer, who wrote the Artist Material Handbook. He, he, I mean, He's well regarded, and I was living in New York at the time, and I called him up. I don't know how I got his number, but I called him up, and uh, I asked him personally. I said, what can I use? And he said, use acrylics. So what was happening is I painted a painting, but what happened is the paints dry very quickly, as you can see. Once you mix the paint, if you want to go back into it, it's gone. So I kept finding... My method of painting was always to go back into the original paint and then use it again for another color. And it would be dried. And then I get stuck. And I <laughs> ran the brush in and it was very frustrating. But uh, I've come to really like acrylics now when I've done large murals. I did a Mickey Mantle um, a mural for a client of mine. And you couldn't work in oil. So I used my big brushes. I used a big canvas on the wall and I used acrylic paints. Turned out gorgeous, but I couldn't use oils. And it would, turned out beautiful. But you have, I had to keep standing back away from it to see it, it was perfect. Anyway, going back, let's make our purple now. So, as you remember, we added the red. I'm making a new batch because I'm, that color I'm sure is dry. Red and the purple. A red in the, uh, I'm sorry, blue. And maybe a little white. Okay. And that nice pretty color. Gonna go kind of down. We're just kind of doing this area here, which is actually clouds. Yeah. My brush is already wet, I'm assuming. So I'm going to make this layer here. Dark, darker than I wanted. Now, the sample over there, I made it without white. And the way I got the white was simply to keep thinning out the paint so that the white of the canvas showed. And that worked out really well. So I can show you how I did it over here. I keep wetting this. Not too dark. It was too dark here much too dark so i'm going to go back and forth and then i'm going to use a trick that i learned many years ago when i was back in high school thank you mr bikino mr corker they showed me this basically what you can do you want to absorb it with the brush you dry the brush off and then it picks up it picks up the extra moisture. It acts almost like a blotter, if any of you still know what a blotter is. It blots up the extra and it makes it lighter. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to blend it. This brush is wet. This everything is still wet. If it wasn't as wet as I wanted, I give it a spritz. I'm going to go back and forth. And I'm blending the two of them. Blending the two colors. And I can't help it. I'm going to take away the bigger brushes. And notice what happens when you get a bigger brush. And this is plenty of water on it, so it's, it's uh, <laughs> getting things a little bit thinner. But it's also, I'm blending the two of them. And I'm going very light. I'm not pressing down hard on the brush. Very, very light. And now I have the blending of the two colors. Now the next thing is we have some water here. I'm going to clean out the brushes. Remember the clean water. <laughs> Put them back. 
here. I'm gonna look at that color of the water. I'm gonna look at my palette. Hmm. This is like a turquoise. I got the green, the blue, which is ultramarine blue, and I got hooker's green. Um, I want a turquoise. I want a pretty turquoise. In order to get a turquoise, looking back at the color wheel, you got your blue, or uh, your green, and you got your blue. If you want a turquoise, you mix the blue and the green. Heading toward this color, which is a little bit like, not exactly like that, but somewhere in that category. So, taking the brush again, I'm going to be mixing the green and the blue. I'm putting them next to each other. I'm kind of blending them together. Notice I'm not making a big pot. You're not putting paint on top of paint because you could land up spending the entire middle section mixing one color and then you have the wrong color. So try to keep it small and mix one color into another. So I'm going to put a little more of the hooker's green in. And kind of like pulling it down a little bit. Yeah, it's a pretty color. And it's going to come out very dark, so I'm going to put just a, a line here. I have much too, much too green. So I'm just going to go all over the blue. Going directly over it. Do, do, do. And I'm actually mixing the color on the palette. Sometimes on the on the, the canvas. Sometimes you have to. You it looks fine here. You put it on the canvas and ah, so you repaint. You make can mix the colors on the canvas. Don't be don't be shy. With acrylics, it's great. You can always paint right over it. And you can let it dry and then repaint it totally. All right, now. Um, I like a little bit more of a purpley. Actually, it seems to get a little purpley. I think maybe I put a little red in this mixture originally. Let's try a little bit of red into this. Yeah. The red gives it a nice, almost a look. You're, you're still working with almost the purples. Now I'm just going to kind of blend it in a little bit. Take the, oh, put it this way on here. Brush is loaded with water. I'm going to blot it off a little bit. Keep blotting it. There we go. See, just giving the impression. And here we're kind of bl almost blending it again where they meet. Where the sky and the wood and the water line meet. Right. Now, I'm looking at the picture. There's more space here for the sand. So what I'm going to end up doing is the sand, I'm going to move up here. So let's see what I can do. I'm going to have to make the water a little less look and get rid of the water yes i'm watering this down i'm using my different technique here and i'm just going to block this all gone Ta -da! now i got more room i've got to put the palm trees in something i can't <laughs> i was making the water a little bit too too much all right, now, 
And the last part of this is going to be the beach. So, that color is kind of a pink tone. The reason it's a pink tone in reality is you've got a sunset. You know what it's like down here in Florida. You've got the reflected light from the sky hitting the, the sand. And the light is making it look like it's a pinky tone. So, Florida, it's gorgeous. All right, so with this, once again, let me make sure my brush is clean. And it's not. I'm going to have to change the water in a minute, but I want to get the last color here. Then we have to change the water. Look what's happening. It's getting dark. Both pop, and when I'm trying to clean the brush and add more color to it, it's it's got green in it, which I didn't want. All right, so I'm going to be making the pinky. So initially, that color was done without white. So I took, simply took, the red, and I believe, if I remember correctly, I just kind of thinned it out. I just kind of thinned it out and might have put a little blue in it. I never like to use one color directly, just a little bit of blue. You're not going to make it into a purple. And actually, let's see, what's that? Yeah, that would have been it. At the, like I said, at the time I didn't have any white. So I'm using, I'm thinning this down with a lot of water on the brush with just this, this crimson red. Now, if you've got the other red, you're going to have a different mixture. You've got to try to become familiar with your colors. I mean, I had a lot of fun doing the sample yesterday because I was learning about the colors. They, I hadn't worked with these this brand of paint before, and I definitely haven't worked with these some of these colors. So I had some fun. And there's no such thing as a mistake. There's always, always learning something. And you can always paint over or Try a different method, like here. Basically, I'm going to use this brush to pick up the extra, whoopsie, the extra moisture. And it's going to get lighter in color, which is what I want at this point. Brush is not that dry. Just to be trying. All right. Now I like the gradation over here, so I'm going to just kind of push the the beach into the into the water over here. And I'm gonna blend it. Okay. So this is the background. Now I'm taking a break now and then we're going to come back. I'm going to wait to I'm going to use the blow dryer on the painting. At a distance. At a distance. And then we'll come back and then we'll paint the palm trees.